That's why nobody really gives a fuck about them. You know, these women, you know, the thought audit or whatever that's going on, they're mad because, um, you know, they're, just, they're getting audited. Well, that's their fucking fault they're getting audited. That's really their own fault. The reason why they're getting audited, these women are getting audited, they have nobody to blame but themselves. Nobody to blame but them fucking selves. These women should be proud of what the, of the audit. Really, and it actually, in all actuality, should be proud of the audit. Why I say this? They want to be equal to men. They want to have all the things that men have. They want to have the, the same power as men. They want to do all the things that that men could do, right? They want to gain. They want to gain all this fast money like men. Like men hustle in the street. To me, a diva. Uh, uh, like Beyonce said, a diva is a female version of a hustler. It's the same damn thing. You do not contribute anything positive to society. You do not do anything for society. You like your individual acts. Like, yes, I remember back in the day, um, back in the days, you had drug dealers that would come and buy the, uh, the community ice cream. You know, the whole, all the, all the children. But at the same time, they were still doing more harm than good. You feel me? So it's the same thing with these Instagram models these these um these harlots these whores uh these IG these uh uh tech bitches these scam soda hoes all that type of shit okay and they have and if anything women should not be mad at men and honestly I don't even think a lot of men are going to even snitch it's really going to be women snitching on women okay it's going to be women snitching on women if anything really and truly just like how men snitch on men in the cocaine and the drug in the drug business and stuff and try to shoot at each other and kill each other, it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be women trying to take women down to get to the top in these in these in certain situations. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna hate on each other secretly, but they're gonna hate on each other. Trust me. And you have some men that's gonna snitch to a man. We're gonna hold you because you could do that. Well, these women should be happy in a sense that the audit. That they're getting audited. They wanted this responsibility. They wanted this power. They wanted all of this, this equal, this equilateral in the sexes. But you know what? They're mad. They're mad about that the responsibility that comes with their newly formed power. You know why? Because they're beneath fucking dogs. They're not even human. Okay, I don't know what you will call these 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 people. They're not they're not even beasts. If you if you're a woman and you think the power that you have is not is not you don't have a greater responsibility to the money that you make, you think it's just for yourself. You're a fucking fool and you're beneath a fucking human. You're a dog. You're not even a dog. You're you're not even shit. I don't know what you are. And a person like that needs to be thrown in fucking jail because you're supposed to understand as a woman you have if you want un- power. Power comes with responsibility, just like men. You think the men that these some of these IG whores don't have taxes? You think the ball players and the football players and NFL and Donald Trump, the billionaires, you think these men don't have to pay taxes? You think I don't have to pay taxes when I go into the fucking store and, and grab the, the Migo snack wrap ch- uh, chips? Yeah, I have to. I, I have to. So it's, 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 you think I, I don't pay taxes on the video games that I buy? On the system consoles and stuff like that that I buy? Yeah. All right? The things men like to do get taxed. For generations, it's been taxed. Anything a man likes to do is taxed. Tax, 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 tax. Women can look good with $20. With 40 with 50 bucks women could make something out of nothing. men can't do that men cannot do that and i mean it depends on what the type of woman you're trying to attract and all that but men can't really do that men i, I mean you could probably do that go to walmart you know or go to you know target and stuff like that but as we know it men don't do that because men like nice things just like women like nice things some of these women like being hoes some of these drug dealers like selling drugs. All right, the drug dealer don't pay taxes on his drugs. Okay, guess where they pay taxes at? When the nigga's in jail and he has that uh, receipt bill. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? That's his tax. That's where the tax is going. Back, recycle him to daddy, big daddy, uh, big daddy, uh, Uncle Sam. Big, dad, big daddy Sam. You know what I'm saying? 
So it's only fair and equilateral that these women do the same. There's roads that need to be built. There's medical that needs to be funded. There's people with medical conditions that need to be um, with injuries and stuff like that and PTSD that need help. And they, these women talk about, you know, public figure. So here you go, sweetheart. Here you go. Um, a lot of, and it's only fair, you know, and it's only their faults if they're mad. You wanted this responsibility. You wanted all this power. Here you go. And it's not even power. What the fuck are we talking about? It's not even power women have. That's what you can't take these women's. You can't take a lot of these women serious. You know, the only way women would have true power. Okay. Women would have to come together. All right. For them to really be on the level of a man, this is what a woman would have to do. Women would have to come together. All the women in the nation that want to leave America, they have to come together, uh, put all the money together, and go buy a piece of land somewhere. Once they buy that piece of land, they have to build homes to live in. They have to build hospitals, roads. Uh, they have to build their own roads, uh, uh, build their own electric plants, uh, build, their, build their own um, you know, facilities, their medical facilities, their schools, the universities. Then they had to make their own currency. Once they could do that and they had to make their own currency, I'm pretty sure they would have to pay back the people that loan them money that, um, that, that, that helped them. So they probably would already be behind in debt. Their currency would have to actually flow with the world currency, you know, in the economy. They'd have to have some type of import, export. Then on top of that, they would have to have some type of defense, um, an all woman army. They'd have to buy jets or maybe weld their own jets, ships, barge ships to ship out goods. They have to make and produce their own food in um, a rapid rate. They would also have to have, since it's a um, uh, all uh, all female uh, country, they would have. Uh, they would first actually have to. They would have to establish independence so the world could recognize them as a country. So they would have to do that. Then after they did that, then they would have to have their own laws, regulations, and stuff like such. And then they'd have their all girl schools, all uh, boys schools, all I mean all girl schools, all girl hospitals, all girl everything, right? Then if something was valuable in their facility and men wanted to go, then they would have to uh, then then uh, they would have to protest probably against themselves. That you see what women would have to do. Women would pretty much literally have to do that to be as equal as men. To, to get really taken seriously. That's why when a woman is like doing, I'm like, bitch, bitch, you're doing this, but you're doing this in a man's society, a man ran society. I, I mean, yeah, why, the, like, that's why I'm like, you can't look at them the same. Because no matter what, there's a man that's going to be the power where it needs, that matters the most. Yes, you have uh, women that are billionaire for 500K companies, but a lot of these women inherit that shit or they, you know, they marry into that shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women don't build that shit from the ground up. Or they got hired because a man saw a talent in them. And when the man died, he gave the company over. Read a lot of those stories. Or their marriage. And they became business-minded because of their husband. Okay? Because of their husband. Not because of their own tuition. They got him by being a whore. They learned how to be a businesswoman by being around him. And they might even have a business aspect. A lot of businesswomen are very flirtatious and very... Not, just very flirtatious. Okay, take it from me. Okay? Please take it from me. With this being said, please don't take the, this uh, this shit serious because it's not even going to be men. Uh, well, they have to take it serious, but I don't think it's going to be men auditing them that much. I mean, if it's men that don't like them and hate them, yeah, but really and truly, it's going to be women auditing other women, just like how men be snitching in the in the streets. They be men be snitching on one another, and um, you know they be calling the cops so they could you know reign supreme on the block or whatever, get all the money. It's all about, it's gonna be the same thing with women. It's gonna see who could be be at the top, you know, of Instagram and all that type of stuff. And they're gonna be auditing each other. They're gonna be going back and forth in jail in the jail system. That's why they're gonna realize that damn Instagram is a setup for me to go to jail. And if anyone wants to be mad at anybody. A lot of these IG women that get audited, a lot of these whores, a lot of these 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 harlots, scum that they know they're scum, they don't care. They like getting come down the face to get money. A lot of these women should only be mad at the fucking Me Too feminism movement. That's the only people they should be mad at when it comes to this. 
The only people they should be mad at is the Me Too, that Million Women March, the Empowerment of Women, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, all that dumb shit. That's what they should be mad about. Because even at the pinnacle of women's power, because we've built, men build society for women. That's the thing I don't understand. Like, they've literally just been like, fuck you the entire time. Bluntly, right? It's time to, it's time to, it's time to pay up. It's time to have equal responsibility. Okay? There's a lot of things that could be done with a lot of the money that these women make. And that's the truth. That's the bottom line. There's a border that needs to be built. There's men, there's men and righteous women down there that need to be helped. And you're telling me you're getting mad about that, but you want me to respect you like you're a man because of what you can, what you, material you could gain, but you don't have enough morals to do what's right. And you're going to tell me about a little uh, Gucci bag purse. And you're gonna and you're gonna tell me about uh you're gonna complain to me about uh, uh that you take care of your nephew and niece. Listen, men and women are at the border. There's no need to there's listen, there's things that there's bigger things, there's men in, in the services, there's people that need medical attention. With, with a lot you know, a lot of these insurance companies need to pay down on some of this money. A lot of this money that men can give to women need to be taxed. Especially to be in a, a surplus in a sense. Hell yeah. Because Farming is not the same anymore. The best farmers in our generation are fucking pot smokers. They have weed farms. How the... I don't understand. Like, it's like, with my generation, it's like common sense just went the window. The best farmers are marijuana plant. Like, what... Or the best farmers, like not just like a farm family, because there's farm families that are black and white, but they're not as good as these hydroponic... Uh, buy in, buy, botanists, okay, Botan, botanists. If I'm saying it right, these guys could grow. They grow marijuana like crazy, and they have the ability to grow food too. But they don't, not on the scale of marijuana. Okay, so yes, there has to be some other revenue for the country to be in a surplus or help out in a surplus. If it's they, if any of these whores, harlots, porn stars, any of these women should get, be mad at anybody, it should just be the Me Too movement. Because the Me Too movement said pretty much, fuck women, and the slut walk, the, the all that dumb shit. If y'all act crazy and was on the low about it, y'all would be, y'all would be winning. Bluntly, y'all would win and no one would say shit. Y'all would just be winning. But the fact that y'all did the slut walk, y'all be talking shit about men like y'all not bad. Y'all be doing a bunch of things like y'all don't drive men away. Y'all be doing so much that y'all don't even see. So for y'all to be mad, that lets me know y'all not men. Y'all not above us. Y'all not on the same equal plane as us. I don't want to hear no woman complaining about this damn audit. Honest to God. I don't want to hear nothing about the damn audit. They asked for the power. They add, They didn't. They didn't exp- the women expected the power with no responsibility. After saying fuck you to men for so long. That's that's that shit's out the window. Okay. Some of these whores are gonna get audited and I'ma laugh. Cause I might fuck around and do an audit because a lot of these women flashing this money and all that shit. That, that, listen, man. This stuff is real. I got cousins in the service. Family I got three cousins in the service. Listen, man, this is the moral pr- principle of the things that women don't have because they can't step up the plate because they're not men. How dare you come to me as a man talking about you want to be looked at as an equal, but you're going to get mad when it comes to do equal responsibility because you're mad because you want a Gucci purse. That make no damn sense. I can't look at you the same because I I I'm looking at I can't. I'm just looking at you like I just want to fuck. And your cousins and your I don't want to hear none of that. None of that matter. It's bigger than you, it's bigger, it's bigger than your cousins, it's bigger than me. That's what matters. Okay? If you're gonna be a leader, learn to lead. If you're not gonna be a leader, stay behind. It's simple. It's simple mathematics. And you shut up. Because it's time that women do shut up. You know, in a sense. They wanted the, the Me Too movement. The Me Too movement and the feminist movement ruined a lot of these uh, a lot of these big a lot of these BBWs, a lot of these women, they're gonna be audited. A lot of these men calling these prostitutes, they're gonna be audited. 
a lot of this money, so pretty much, in a sense, they're getting pimped out by the government. They're getting pretty much pimped out by the government. It's a setup. And if you ain't got that clientele, you know how we're going in the streets. If you ain't got that clientele, don't do it. You're still going to make the, the evens cut, but they're not going to make that money like they was before. And the money that there is, you know what I'm saying, you know how women are. Women are greedy. Women are going to start turning on women. Uh, women making 200000 300000 a year, tax-free. Right? Imagine that. Two, three hundred thousand in a year. Tax free. Now, what happens is when women get audited, Uncle Sam says one fourth of that or 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 or, or two uh, two of a sixth of that uh that goes to me. So say they making three hundred thou, a hundred and eighty thou is going to Uncle Sam. Okay, from say about like 80 to 100 of these uh, females, that's like $10 million that could be actually used to something other than whatever the th- you think you're going to use it for that's going to be wasted. You get what I'm saying? All right, moving on. They asked for this. And the thing is, they I would expect y'all to be happy. They have, and then they're talking about they're gonna come after men. They ain't gonna do a motherfucking thing. They gonna what's is what gonna happen is they are gonna go back to where they were. They gonna, you're gonna see a lot of women being humble. You're gonna see a lot of marriages actually going up. You're gonna see, and you're gonna see a, a lot of women going back to school. That's what you're really gonna. I mean, you thought it was bad before, but it's gonna be real bad. A lot of these women are gonna really be going for the nursing. Really gonna be looking for fields that are gonna. Uh, that are going to actually bring in some money because now being a thought ain't paying the bills. Being a thought ain't doing... It probably will still pay the bills for a little while. But what's going to happen is that money, women get greedier, just like men get greedier. So the money they getting is not as much as it was before, so they can't do as much as they want before, as they were before. So they're going to snitch on this person. So when they snitch on that person, that lady... They're going to try to take all her clientele. They're going to try to take her likes. They're going to try to take her, uh, you know, her clients. Hey, come fuck with me. Come look at my Snap Premium. Da, 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 da. And it's going to be a battle. They're going to be snitching, ratting each other out. It's going to be a battle. Just like if it was in the streets of with drug and cocaine money, right? So it's going to be a battle. That's all it's going to be. Women going to jail. Women going back to school. Women can't go back to school. Women looking for a man. Women are beat up, so niggas don't want them. And the niggas is gonna treat them like shit, and they're just gonna be like shit, pretty much. You gonna and I give it five years. You gonna see women coming back down to earth, liking men, liking short men, like they just don't like, liking all the bullshit they did. And the thing is, that's so crazy. Men have seen and heard how they speak. So men already know how to deal with these women that are gonna come down. Now, yes. It's not going to be in the. It's not going to affect the the masses right away yet. You know, this is only like what day three of this thing, so it's going to take a couple years before you start seeing, you know, porn star going to jail, this uh, person going to jail, this IG known IG thought, or this uh, woman that all the celebrities was fucking going to jail for audit tax and fraud. You're gonna see that a lot. You're gonna see that a lot, probably within the next year or two. Then you're going to see a change in the dynamic of how men speak about about women speak about men in the media and and, 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 and that's going to have an influence on women's minds, on women's brains. OK, and they can only be mad at the motherfucking selves, because that's one thing when the USA, when the Congress, when the, when 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 the big dad, when the white man is sick and tired of your bullshit. And and the thing is, all we do is build society for women. So I I don't understand, you know, when when women when men are so tired of your bull, bullshit, we make one good strike. That's that's it, you know. That's it. Boom. You know, you have these women talking about you're coming after men. Oh, I'm listen. No woman coming after nobody. All right. If you want audit these hoes, a lot of these hoes be flashing money. A lot of these hoes got money. A lot of these hoes be doing crazy. You see all these women with the tigers and all that fucking shit that costs a lot of money. All these bitches in Lamborghinis going to per uh uh fucking uh 
um, Persia, I mean, D Dubai, whatever. You know, that, that costs a lot of money. Okay. So, you know, I think it's fair. And that's what I think on the, uh, the whole odd thought.